Check out your box. What I need for the audience is a uh, suggestion of something you might see sold for uh, self-improvement or beauty enhancement. The flow of yes. The toupee. Hair removal. <laughs> Hair removal. <laughs> So you're selling a hair removal uh, products <laughs> on an infomercial. Wonder how good they work. And uh, and you have to use all the items that we put in that box for you. So take it away whenever you're ready. Hi there. We're the Phillips twins. <laughs> Notice anything different about us? <laughs> That's right. One of us has lots of hair. The other has some hair. Because the chicks love it. That's why we have come up with a hair removal process that will make you ten times sexier than anyone with hair and a big nose. That's right. That's right. And through ten easy steps, you can achieve a look like this. And it's cheap. What have we got here first, brother? Well, <laughs> let's take a look at... No, let's wait for that, Colin. What's that look like to you? Well, it looks like a, a thing that measures things and you squirt. A baster? Is that what you're thinking That's about? That's exactly. I didn't want to lose anyone with all the technical terms. No, Colin. Actually, this has a hundred times the sucking power of any baster. Why, well, how will that help you with hair removal? Well, wait a minute, Colin. You seem to have one in your neck there. I'll just save that. And it's painless. It's okay. We're twins. <laughs> That's an odd piece of something. It certainly is. Oh, man. Exactly. You know... If you're going to be an Olympic swimmer, say, or just someone who needs no chest hair, this is the item for you. <laughs> Easy. Just squeeze until the hairs are seen, then very gently... Oh! <laughs> oh. <laughs> you know... After the hair is removed, there's nothing like a good buff. Now, Colin, a lot of times, a lot of times, you might remove a little too much hair. But remember, that follicle is still in there. You can always get the hair to pop back up into your scalp. And if you act by tomorrow, we'll give you this special gift. I have no hair. Now, you may think to yourself, I have no hair. You may think to yourself, hey, you know what? After my hair is gone, I might not always like the look, and women might not find it attractive. How do I get their interest? Maybe with a sense of humor? That's why we've thrown this in free. We interrupt your show for the special announcement. <laughs> You'd listen if people did that, though. You sure would. I wish people had to make every announcement about their shortcomings like that. <laughs> Ryan's shoes are too loud. Uh, let's move on to a game called Hoedown. 